Hey guys, Thanksgiving isn't complete without pumpkin pie. So for your pie slice, you'll need some orange, brown, and black crayons, a Sharpie, scissors, and a pencil. Let's get started. The first thing is to get the outline of our pumpkin pie slice. Start with a vertical line, then add two diagonal lines at the top and bottom of that first line. They should be parallel to each other, which means evenly spaced out. Now add one more diagonal line on top. That will be for the top of our pie. Now add a vertical line that matches up to the bottom and erase any extra you have. Add a curved line up top so that you can see the side and the top of our pie. Now I'm going around to add my pie crust. What piece of pumpkin pie is complete without whipped cream? Add an abstract blob shape, if you will, up top. Erase the line behind it. We will add shading later to make it look more like the whipped cream. Draw your plate. You want the sides to look like they match up, so I can see one side is taller than the other. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra so that it looks even and like they would connect behind my piece of pie. Time to outline. I'm going to outline everything except for the middle diagonal line that separates the top and the side of my pie. Erase any lines you need, except for that diagonal line. Time to color. Starting with your pumpkin pie, use one of your oranges. I'm using orange and yellow orange to color in your pumpkin pie. For my crust, I'll use brown really lightly and go over it a second time with my peach. Now it's time to add shading. With my brown crayon, I'm going to begin coloring the side of my pumpkin pie slice darker with the brown crayon. To shade the dollop of whipped cream, Use a black crayon and very lightly begin adding some lines so that it looks like it's swirling around. I'm starting on one side and I'm going halfway into the middle. I'm also adding some shading on the bottom where it would be resting on the pie. Time to shade the plate. I'm starting with a ring along the inside and then on either side of the pie, I'll add a little bit of shading so it looks like the rim of the plate.
I'm keeping that front part of the line very thin. The last thing we need to add is the shadow of the piece of pie on the plate. I'm making this darker than all my other shading I've done so far. Now with either a ruler or just freehand, draw your horizon line on the back of your pie. Next, color in the bottom half of your paper. I'm using marker so it will stand out, but you can use crayon. Pause here until you're ready to move on. The last thing we need to do before cutting out our piece of pie is to add a little bit of shadow where the plate is covering the table. To really bring your piece of pie to life and make it look like it's sitting on the table, cut out the negative space around the top of your piece of pie. When you're cutting, be sure to go slow and avoid all the little ridges along the top of your pie. That looks good enough to eat.